Hello, my people. Welcome to Akoko TV on the segment we called Wam Wam Wam. Ahambo Michael Uche Ibuanugo, Onyinkana Bozi Kola Man, no Bosin Katata. I want a mono son on Obonangi Chozo, Ihagani Tumobo, Akonya Wetal, KGSW. And today I want to uh, bring to us the awareness of this particular um, nga, we are sickness, Kanga, we are. Mammy Henga, we are sickness or illness, I don't know. But Ihana, we are about brain aneurysm. A lot of people don't know about this, especially in our continent, Africa. A lot of people don't know about this. Even some doctors, I don't know if they know about it in Africa. And uh, here in Europe, people don't know about it. So many majority of people don't know about it. Ewaha is something brain aneurysm. Can you, can you, can you check, you may explain. Uh, but people know about cancer. People know about different kind of uh, sicknesses. Manahama about this brain aneurysm. I'm not name pronounce it very well. But na Dutch, Anna, we are Gehien aneurysma. Na Dutch, na German, Gehien aneurysma. So, here na chiku na bo, or because uh, it, it personally happened to me. And this thing, bo, if it happens to you, obu no megi five minutes e ungo. Five minutes e join go the ancestors. There's not obu no country in where ambulance. Ambulance cannot even reach you. Onya ha ungo zbo. You got to go. So, um, oh me, I, yeah, I experienced this in 2012. Uh, which na nan na coma for one month and one week, which is five five weeks uh, but thank god i survived it uh this thing nebu onebu anyhow onebu anyhow so when we video i'm sure you go na on the way again to your former gain to your former way more time if it's not my information is power so that key me pano avoid the giga for the video i got the tips he gave you may such a thing avoid it was a kind job on open order again or you will not know until the thing will bust you will not even know and this is a giga scan once in a year or gala is born scan a gm meditating where my non will board again or all is born so oh you know born here the only thing you can do by yourself is to make sure to know you are living the correct lifestyle you have to go need to so many things in a meal to avoid it and it's still not a guarantee like now i'm talking now some people will have it in their body uh, but their own might not a rupture till 95 years or 80 or yeah he picked up on one when think if i got a rupture anyhow or rupture can i back up anyway i'm going to have a bust anyhow so you make it got your toilet he be it out of the thing i'll bust or um, in way, can I bago step, bago chat step, or you can you go in a bago step or rupture? In way, can I have a phone or rupture? In way, don't a channel for Benotta meeting, keep in it or rupture. So many people, so many people na Nobodaya na Bo, the Afran land. I got from Made to a Padachol or Way in a mere, a Hawadi of Ma, a Padachol or Jol, to Trufonia, Bayamoto, Yalomoto, Roni, Warrior, Little Zena Moto, or Bani Morphis here, or collapse. I got people who are not money mafia, people who are not collapse anyhow. People who are not going to be able to. I said, no, but in Capilonia, 80% are bought in Capilonia, 80% of this aneurysm, and this aneurysm, it can, it, it can happen in your brain. The brain one is very dangerous, which is what I have. It can happen at the corner of your eyes. It can happen at your back of your neck. It can happen on your waist. It can happen on your on your leg. It can puncture on your leg. So it's like, uh, actually, you mean that aneurysm, you mean a blob of, uh, of a, a part of a vein, you know, that form a ball like a balloon i'm not gonna say you can go that place you hold your label you go you go the balloon now for your hanger and your ceiling after some weeks the air from the balloon will elapse then the balloon i'm a cc balloon and do the we and the balloon i have had the two the mbahi go the offer you got to go all it to a vein you know a vein in matter of no quaka balloon a bit blood and i got through so when boy born kata obia oko one side for more something like a small ball when boy be lose a ball i had the week or see about where puncture on your own your hand with internal bleeding you got to go so in came we have a brain and uh, two times so at the same time caratino punch up two times only one time they boom mad under five minutes man came with two times i'm gonna change case no way for game i can get jerry chine goes in a this world and put god kept me for a reason so i'm gonna watch it watch out this film and they listen very attentively so that you will learn also about this thank you hey everyone it's dr mike and today we're diving deep into a serious health concern brain aneurysms Imagine a tiny balloon-like bulge forming on a blood vessel in your brain. If it ruptures, it can lead to a life-threatening hemorrhagic stroke. Brain aneurysms are more common than you think, affecting millions worldwide. Many remain unaware until it's too late, making knowledge and prevention crucial. We'll explore three pillars of prevention to safeguard your brain health. 
Let's kick things off with maintaining healthy blood pressure. It's a vital aspect of overall health that often gets overlooked. Think of your blood vessels as highways transporting vital nutrients and oxygen throughout your body. These highways need to be clear and efficient to keep everything running smoothly. High blood pressure strains these highways, increasing the risk of damage and aneurysms. This can lead to serious health issues like heart attacks, strokes, and kidney problems. Keeping your blood pressure in check is non-negotiable. It's a key factor in maintaining long-term health and preventing chronic diseases. The ideal reading is around 120 80 mmHg, but it's important to consult your healthcare provider for personal targets. Everyone's body is different and your doctor can help you determine the best range for you. Practical steps include a balanced diet low in sodium and saturated fats. Reducing salt intake can significantly lower blood pressure, and avoiding unhealthy fats helps keep your arteries clear. Incorporate fruits, vegetables, and whole grains into your meals. These foods are rich in essential nutrients and fiber, which support heart health and help maintain stable blood pressure levels. Regular physical activity like brisk walking or swimming is essential. Exercise strengthens your heart, improves circulation, and helps manage weight, all of which contribute to healthy blood pressure. Stress management techniques like deep breathing or yoga can help. Chronic stress can elevate blood pressure so finding ways to relax and unwind is crucial for your cardiovascular health. Adherence to prescribed medications is crucial for managing blood pressure. Always follow your doctor's instructions and never skip doses, as this can lead to uncontrolled blood pressure and increased health risks. Beyond blood pressure control, maintaining a healthy diet and regular exercise are crucial for overall well-being. A balanced diet plays a significant role in maintaining blood vessel integrity and overall cardiovascular health. Consuming a diet high in saturated and trans fats can weaken vessel walls, leading to potential health issues. Instead, load up on a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These foods are rich in antioxidants and essential nutrients that support heart health. Incorporate healthy fats from sources like avocados, nuts, and olive oil. These fats improve blood flow, reduce inflammation, and contribute to better heart function. Regular physical activity is equally important. It strengthens blood vessels, improves circulation, and enhances overall physical fitness. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity per week. Activities like brisk walking, cycling, or swimming can make a big difference. Consistency is key. Additionally, exercise has been shown to improve overall cognitive function, boosting memory and mental clarity. It's a win-win situation for both body and mind. Now, let's address smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. Smoking damages artery linings, increasing inflammation and plaque buildup. This process, known as atherosclerosis, raises the risk of aneurysms. Excessive alcohol can lead to high blood pressure, a major risk factor. It also interferes with nutrient absorption, weakening blood vessel walls. Quitting smoking and moderating alcohol are impactful steps. Numerous resources are available to help you quit smoking. Moderation is key for alcohol consumption. Let's recap the three pillars of brain aneurysm prevention, maintaining healthy blood pressure, embracing a healthy diet and regular exercise, and avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol. These are not just simple steps, but essential habits that can significantly reduce your risk. Maintaining healthy blood pressure is crucial. Regular monitoring and managing stress can help keep it in check. Embracing a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, along with regular physical activity, strengthens your overall health. Quitting smoking and moderating alcohol intake are also vital steps. These lifestyle modifications have a profound impact on brain health. They not only help in preventing aneurysms, but also enhance cognitive function and overall well-being. Remember, you are the CEO of your health. Taking charge means making informed decisions and adopting habits that promote longevity and vitality. Consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice. They can offer guidance tailored to your specific needs and help you create a prevention plan that works best for you. Thank you for joining me on this journey to understanding and preventing brain aneurysms. Knowledge is power, and by staying informed, you are taking a proactive step towards better health. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel Akuko TV for more health content. 
Stay healthy and informed. Together, we can build a healthier future.